Hey guys, happy Friday. We made it to the end of the week. Oh, I am so glad that it's Friday. Um, kind of had to take a big, deep sigh just to kind of like relax. Um, but it's been a week. And, um, you know, we are all human, right? And I get on here and I promote this amazing business and I always will. No matter what's going on in my life, no matter what's happening, I know for sure that I have found the best company to, to be a part of and I love it. Um, but in the same sense, we all have bad weeks. Um, you know, getting into your own mind is a real thing. And I am here to attest that, you know, it, it can get overwhelming. Um, I had a very rough week and I don't know where it started. I don't know where the root of it began. I, I don't even know, but it was hard. Um, I reached out to a bunch of people. Um, I was keeping a lot of it inside. Um, it just, it got chaotic. There's so much going on with my house, my day job. Um, trying to sell this house has been so hard. And if you've ever sold a house before and you've dealt with this, let me know because it's stressful and it's been insane. So I think my husband kind of realized that and we went out to eat tonight, which I was like, okay. So we went and got Mexican, but I deserve it. <laughs> That's what he said. He's like, you deserve this. So we went out to eat, but at the same time, here I am thinking once again in my head, I'm like, I should have done that. I should have stayed on my diet. I should have did this. I should have did that. I'm glad I have these treat meal capsules that we take. Um, they block these the fats and carbs from what you eat, um, and it helps keep that off and helps the bloat stay down because I have a gluten problem, and gluten is terrible. I actually had noodles this week, too. I, I was totally off my diet this week, and if you guys have fallen off, I need to know. What you do to get back on, I have been drinking water. I've been just jumping back on as day one. You know, I know that when you fall off, you just get right back on that bicycle and you just keep going. Um, and that's kind of been like the whole motto of my week. You know, um, it's 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 hard. Um, I'm trying not to get emotional, you know, because hmm, it happens. Um, but I am thankful that everyone that I reached out to let me just go <laughs> and vent myself and just get it out because it's not fun feeling like you're alone. It's not fun feeling like it's just crazy, you know? Um, but at the same time, you guys probably would have never known <laughs> because I've still been here. I've still been sharing things. I've still been, you know, Jen and my, I'm always trying to help somebody else too. And sometimes I gotta take a step back and actually help myself. So I'm really glad it's Friday because I'm going to be doing just that. Um, so yeah, but um, besides me, <laughs> um, I just wanted to drop a little, um, um, little thing here that there is a summer sale this just today. And it's only good for today um, and because we're trying to clear out the warehouse for some new products coming in soon. And we're getting like four new flavors that I'm super pumped about. And so there is a sale. So there's four products. And if you buy two of them, you get one free. Um, there's a body scrub. There is a pumpkin spice flavored shake. There is a uh, the treat meal that I just talked about. And there's um, these dual burn patches that we have and it's purple camo. So I was like, ooh. So I definitely stocked up. Um, I wanted to share that with you guys and let you guys know that too. Um, it runs today. I know it's 7.15 at night, but this is just how life's been right now. Um, <laughs> so I just wanted to like make sure I drop that and let you guys know. I did drop it in my stories as well. I, make sure, I wanna make sure I'm really thorough with this. I don't want anyone to miss out. Um, I know that I have been super busy with this house. It's taken I think two or three weeks to paint this house and get it done. And what did I realize? That I am terrified, terrified to be on a ladder. <laughs> um, I didn't think I was afraid of heights, but I'm terrified to climb on a ladder and I don't understand why. Um, it's, it's just the ladder thing. And I was trying to help get to a high point in the back of our house yesterday and I couldn't do it. I literally could not do it. I was shaking. I was sweating so bad <laughs> and I had to stop. 
I was like, I can do this stuff closer to the ground. And Nick kind of got frustrated with me. And I'm like, okay, well, I can't help it. Like, have you guys had this problem before? I don't know. I, my, he, Nick's like, he's so daredevilish and he just has like no fear of anything, which God love him. I can't do that. But I have so many fears. And that's kind of why I was kind of bringing up like fear yesterday. Um, yeah, last night um, in comparison because I'm letting fear run everything in my life and it can go from a whole blanket of different things. Um, and that holds me back from things um, like this ladder. <laughs> I got to conquer that ladder. Um, I was thinking about trying to get up on that ladder again and I'm like, I don't know. It was really, really scary. It was a really bad situation. Um, and now I'm in my head about things and it just, it sucks. So you can be your own worst enemy at the end of the day, or you can be your best friend. It's just the mindset has to be there. And I'm not just talking about, you know, running a business or anything like that. I'm talking about in general and day to day, you have to have your mind right. And you can't let things that you are out of your control get to you. Um, I do that too many times. And if you're sitting here thinking about things that have happened and always asking why me, um, I used to ask that a lot. Why? Why me? Why? Um, I just realize I'm a really tough cookie and I can handle it. And it's sometimes it might seem overwhelming, but I can. Um, I also had people tell me, oh, I can't even want to share this, but you know what? I'm still here. I had people tell me that I shouldn't be running my own business. Okay. Well, those are the naysayers. Those are the people that need to stop letting that voice in my head get louder because I'm ignoring that voice. I don't have time for that voice anymore. I have time to only look up and to hit my goals and continue to hit my goals. I have so many aspirations that I would like. And I swear it started when I was probably six years old in my first pageant, you know, saying what I wanted to be when I get older and my favorite things and all those things. I do. What I wanted to be when I was six was a teacher. Did I know what kind of teacher? No. At that point, I probably was an elementary school teacher or something because my best friend was my 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 second grade teacher. I think was I was I yeah I was turning seven. My second grade teacher was so awesome that I wanted to be her, Mrs. Brown's coat. And if you went to school with me in Detroit, you'll know. She was amazing. I still think about her, <laughs> but now that I think about it, yeah, I do want to be a teacher and I am, I am trying to teach people to put yourselves first and I'm teaching people how to take care of yourself and teaching you about taking care of yourself. So yeah, I'm working on that goal and I'm going to continue to work on my goals, whether I have a bad day or not, they happen. I know they do. Um, I had a bad week and I sat here today and I had to think in, in silence and I've been doing a lot of this. I'll sit for five minutes. It's a really good thing to do. Sit there for five minutes and just kind of breathe. And if you get stuck on one thought, that's fine because you need to absorb that thought so much and then throw it away. Especially if it's a negative one, absorb it, sit there and think about it and then throw it away. Um, I did that a lot, <laughs> a lot this week. So I'm not going to keep rambling about it, but I just want to let you guys know that I am so appreciative of you guys being here, watching my videos, um, just all of the positive, positive messages I've gotten from people and from people giving it my company a try, my business a try. I swear I would not be sitting here talking about these products and promoting them if I didn't believe in them and they didn't work. I'm a true testament of that. So with that, I want to say have a great Friday. Um, tomorrow I'm actually doing something major for my team and I'm running a work with me. So I'm running a zoom. Oh my gosh, but I'm excited. It's going to help me get out of this little funk and it's going to help me just give that little extra oomph that I need. And then I'm going to have a great rest of the weekend. I am attesting to it now. So like I said, have a great rest of your Friday guys. Thanks for watching. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.